Hello again, the whole message behind this video is that we are not alone in the universe. And that's okay. I'm just going to share some brief thoughts on disclosure, the alien presence on Earth, and our connection to them. Do you believe that intelligent extraterrestrial life exists? Why yes, I do believe that off-worlders have visited our planet, made their way into our religious texts, influenced our social and genetic development, and left physical evidence of their presence throughout our history. Are aliens good or bad? Both. Because any intelligent being could have good or bad intentions. Good and bad, after all, is just a perception of our own judgments on what we define as favorable or unfavorable circumstances in relationship to our wants and needs. Are they human? There are humanoid and non-humanoid intelligent species that exist within our dimension and vibrate on our density who are also bound by the natural laws that we are. Then there are others that vibrate at higher densities that aren't bound by the physical laws that we are. What's with all the alien pop culture and people identifying as alien? To help the rest of the population subconsciously prepare for the truth of the extraterrestrial presence, as many people will find it difficult to accept. Those people who are aware of their extraterrestrial connections are revealing themselves to prepare others for this truth. Why don't they just show themselves? In short, they have. Some in violation of first contact protocol. And some already have contracts with humans established pre-incarnation. But all off-worlders don't act as one entity. There are factions, organizations, federations, planetary and intergalactic, etc. All with different rules, motives, and objectives. Let's also remember that there are a lot of people in the world that would be very disturbed to realize that ETs exist. Some would panic, and some will want to build a border wall in space. Conscious off-worlders know this and prefer to avoid as much stress to the populations as possible. Disclosure, do we have it or not? The leaders in power on our planet who have stood for service to self instead of service to others have revealed things here and there discreetly, but do we have full disclosure of the alien presence? No. We need an announcement to all the people of Earth from all the world's leaders and governments. For them to come out with all of their knowledge of extraterrestrials, to be provided openly to the public of all nations. Full transparency of all interactions with off-worlders. Technology, the history, the different races, the different cultures, everything. So why don't the good ETs help us improve our society? Because it's not their responsibility to clean up after our messes and rob us of the honor of learning from our mistakes and balancing our karma. Secondly, in order for them to interact with us publicly, full disclosure and critical mass acceptance is essential. Another reason why a socially advanced civilization wouldn't want to intervene with a primitive society is written in our history. Humans have exhibited less than ideal reactions when someone from the heavens comes down with their divine powers. If the people are down on their knees worshiping entities that are their equals, it makes for a toxic relationship. Because we can't be a sovereign, independent planet if we are codependent. Emotionally and spiritually advanced ETs do not want to be worshipped, and on many occasions they have pulled out of agreements and contact with humans because their contactees have fell into greed and other service to self ambitions. How do I prove I'm ready for first contact? If we are going to join the galactic and cosmic communities, we need to develop unity on our planet first. We need to work together for the greater good instead of supporting unjustified wars over resources and selfish ideologies. We need to put people over profits and develop a system where everybody's basic needs are met. We need to focus on sustainable energy and sustainable practices. We need to be the solution to our world's problems, not contribute to them. That means socially, environmentally, ethically, etc. If we want to work with our family from the stars, we need to welcome them without codependency. They are not our gods and goddesses, they are our equals, and we are just as capable of reaching their level. The ones we want to work with don't want to see us at their feet. They want to see us take responsibility for our actions and put service to others over service to self. Live long and prosper.